past three on New Year's Day. We are driving up to Kruger National Park. Going to be spending a week in the park, coming back on Sunday next week. We are staying at Senzi, which is an off-grid bush camp, um, satellite camp, Mapani rest camp. Uh, there's no power, no electricity, so it'll be batteries and solar panels powering us for, for the week. So looking forward to a good trip. We've got about a seven hour drive ahead of us. We've just left home, We're heading up the N1 freeway past Pretoria into Polokwane and then across to Palabora. It's nine o'clock. We've just uh, arrived at Palabora Gate. National Park. We left home at 3 o'clock this morning so it's taken us just six hours to get here. We're now driving up to Senzi Camp just near Mapani which will probably take another hour and a bit. Uh, check in and get to the campsite and set up. Senzi Bush Camp um, up near Mapani in the Kruger National Park. We've set up our, our campsite and uh, Senzi really is a beautiful camp right in the middle of the Kruger National Park. It is an off-grid bush camp, no electricity so you need to be completely self-reliant but uh, the stands are really spacious and beautifully green and lush. It really is a beautiful place to spend a week in the Kruger Park.
We've just been out on our uh, morning game drive. We left Senzi at about half past four this morning, um, went and drove down towards the S50, came back along the S49, uh, saw a lovely lion kill. Um, four lions took down a buffalo, they were eating it under the trees. There was a lone hyena checking them out, waiting to pick up the scraps. And then we saw quite a few elephant, uh, zebra, wildebeest, um, waterbuck and a few other things on the way back. We've now stopped at Moiplas. Uh, we're going to have a quick breakfast on the Skotel, some bacon and eggs, a um, cup of coffee and then we'll head up to um, Mapani, see what's at the shop and then head back to Sanzi for the rest of the day and just chill, possibly go out for an afternoon game drive. So in a previous video, someone asked me if I could do a review or a demonstration of this guy, um, which is a fire stick. Um, it really just is a piece of pipe, a couple of holes in it attached to a piece of um, gas pipe with an attachment. 
and then all you do is you connect it up to your gas bottle like so once it's connected turn on the gas and you light it and you stick that in your fire or under your coals under your wood let that burn for a little bit and hey presto your fire is lit without any need for fire lighters loads of impala in the park. Those are the first two we've seen this entire trip. We've um, stopped here at uh, Lataba for a picnic breakfast um, on our day two game drive. Drove down from Senze um, towards Lataba. It's a beautiful picnic spot here. Um, this is a day visitor site, not the main camp, but uh, it's beautifully shaded. Lots of um, seating areas, little bries. You can also rent um, or hire out um, scottles and gas bottles so perfect for a quick stop off and a quick breakfast on your morning game drive
We are back from our morning game drive uh, where we drove down to Lataba and then back up to Senzi. We're now spending the afternoon in camp. I'm just taking a stroll around the perimeter fence seeing what uh, we can see. The wildlife here really is great. We've had elephant right up against the fence, um, right up to the gate. In fact yesterday we got uh, <laughs> caught between the um, entrance gate to the camp um, with a herd of elephant crossing behind us so we couldn't go forward we didn't want to get out the car to open the gate to get into camp we couldn't reverse so it was a little, little bit hairy there were youngsters with with the elephants um, and that's always a bit of a warrior case anyone gets a bit aggro but it all worked out um, but yeah so far we've seen lion with a kill feeding we've seen plenty of elephant Lots of zebra, lots of wildebeest. Uh, we saw warthog today, crocodile down on the Lataba River, and plenty of bird life. So it really is prolific out here. Um, so far, three days into our trip, it really has been a fantastic, uh, fantastic journey. Dinner tonight is uh, chicken drumsticks and lamb chops cooked on the braai and we will serve it up with a potato salad and a green salad. Quarter to five in the morning, um, sun's just coming up, out on an early morning game drive, going to be doing the Capricorn loop from Senzi up to Mapai, then across to the S143, back down the S50 to camp, um, hoping for a good day's viewing. Uh, we saw lion on the first day, so hoping we can find some more big cats along the route, but otherwise we know we're going to be seeing plenty of elephant. Um, buffalo, wildebeest, zebra, that type of thing. So, but it would be nice if we can find a few big cats to complement the mix as well.
Um, ended up being quite a long game drive this morning. Um, I ended up passing my party to the Tropic of Capricorn loop. Um, at the end of that I turned left up the S50 and ended up driving all the way up to Shinguetsi. Um, stopped there for a little bit, put in some petrol. Now I'm heading back down the tar road towards Mapani and Senze. Um, I think all in all I've probably been on the road for about six and a half hours this morning. Corn on the cob, wrapped in tin foil with a knob of butter, some salt and pepper, and put around the coals on the brow.
WhatsApp camp seeker African nation. We are in the car right now because it is raining like a lot as you guys can see and probably here. Yo, but I, st I took my dad's GoPro and yeah, he doesn't know that I'm recording. Also subscribe. Let's get a thousand subs by the end of 2023. Like and subscribe in the next five seconds or there will be a tarantula under your bed tonight. The rain that we had last night finally seems to have passed. We had a big thunderstorm come through and then it rained steadily through most of the night and a lot of this morning as well. It's now 10 o'clock um, and it finally seems to have stopped. Uh, the sky is getting a bit lighter. Um, it's starting to get a bit warmer so hopefully everything will start to dry out now. And my wife and kids decided that they were going to drive back to Joburg today. Um, I've decided to spend our last night um, in the park at Senzi so I'll take myself out on a game drive a little bit later but we've packed up most of the camp now. It's just uh, the battalion that's left that I'm staying in um, and I'll pack that up tomorrow morning and head out at about 10 o'clock uh, for our drive back to Joburg. You can see how muddy it is um, from all the rain that uh, came down through the night. We're on campsite number two, which seems to be on a slightly downward slope. Um, so a lot of the water ran into our campsite. And then obviously with us walking around in the mud and creating footprints and tire tracks, the water has pooled a little bit, but I'm sure once the sun comes out, this should uh, soak up quite quickly and dry out. What all of this does mean, of course, is uh, when I get home, I'm gonna have to unpack everything, spray it down with the hose and dry it out properly um, before we pack it away for our next trip. Not sure if you can see that, but uh, the yellow-billed hornbills in the Kruger Park are a menace. They come and sit on your wing mirrors and they've clearly scratched mine. And uh, they've also been pecking at my windscreen wipers and they've kind of destroyed that as well. So I'm going to have to replace the wipers. But now I've got a wing mirror that's uh, covered in scratches. Back in the Ford Ranger today, um, we've been using my wife's Everest for majority of the game drives on this trip uh, because I've got the tent on the back of the Ranger which the kids were sleeping in. Um, so it was a bit of a mission to pack that up every morning to take the Ranger out for a game drive but uh, now that my wife and kids have gone back to Joburg early, I am back in my Ranger and I must say I am loving it. <laughs> I did miss it. Uh, driving around the park. Uh, the Everest is a great drive as well. It's a 2.2 2 litre Everest, but I certainly prefer the 2 litre bi turbo uh, engine variant that's in my Ranger Wild Track. So, certainly happy to, to be back in, back in the Ranger. <music>
dinner of champions tonight. Um, what with all the rain last night, my wood and charcoal got soaked, so I am unable to bry. So I am just going to snack on some salty cracks, some Melrose cheese, packet of Monster Munch, a couple of Cokes, and I've still got a couple of cold beers in the fridge, so I will imbibe one or two of those as well.